okay so now guys let's write the condition here so first step we are going to use the if condition and we will push this return and here we are going to type abort a b o r t abort which is 401 that means we are telling that you are not authenticated i mean authorized so and here you can use the auth colon colon check function to check whether the user is logged in or not so let me import the class of it so yep we select this eliminate support facets auth let's save it and now guys we can use this middleware inside our uh, route that is admin.php which we have already linked in the web.php now get back and yep guys so here is a middleware and we also have uh, uh, created the admin middleware let's copy this get back to your admin.php and put comma and then paste colon colon class that's it okay so now import the class okay so we have imported it and guys you see that we are uh, this auth is a aliases okay which they have written a logic inside this middleware as example i have used a admin middleware okay so let's target on what we are working so yep now get back and refresh so here you see it is right now logged in so you are able to access so let me just log out and get back to the code and i want to remove this auth and only focus on admin middleware okay so what is there inside this admin middleware here you see auth check if not 401 so now get back uh, control r and try to access your admin dashboard so here you see unauthorized actually we are not logged in so we have to redirect to the login page so for that you can write the if else condition here if it is not logged in then you have to redirect him back so return redirect function if you want with the message you can type the message else you can just mention redirect to forward slash login url okay and this 401 when you are not authorized okay so at that time inside this condition we can use it so let me just uh, comment this out and and now let's try to ref okay so it redirect to the login page and let me again go to the admin dashboard it redirects you back to the login page so let us log in ved at gmail.com password hit enter to login and you are logged in but you are redirected on the dashboard we want to redirect on admin dashboard so we'll check that later so first we are focusing on the admin middleware what to set so now guys as you see that uh, on this users we have one record that is way that gmail.com which we have not given any role for that okay so let's give a role that Ved will be as an admin so only he can log in else you cannot log in okay so now guys let's get back and let's write a logic here if he's authenticated and authenticated user of role column is double equal to admin then you'll be able to log in else you'll mention that unauthorized okay that's it so now guys we need a role column so do we have or not in the user table as you see we do not have so for that we are going to create a migration file let's create it control plus tilt is symbol new terminal write a command php artisan make colon migration um, add role field to users table okay hit enter and your migration file is created let's go to the database migration and here's your migration file cool so now guys let's uh, mention that dollar table with the column string which is going to be a var carry here so role and i want to paste after what column uh, that will be a remember token okay so let's paste here 
and this should be default value um, yeah default value user so by default user should be stored and when if you roll back the table mention drop column that is roll okay now let's save it and migrate this into our database table php artisan migrate hit enter so here you see that migration has been done and if you refresh here you see that role column has been added so by default you have got the role user and now if you refresh here so you see that 401 unauthorized because in the admin middleware you have given the role as admin okay so once you're admin then only you'll be access able to access else it is going to return 401 okay so now guys let's create one user who is going to be admin so yep let's get back and let's move on the dashboard i mean user dashboard let's log out from here once yep logged out and let me register one user as admin admin at gmail.com password hit enter to register okay registered and now let's uh, go to our database refresh the user table and here you see the second record admin and then let's uh, change this role type as admin so here you see that our user admin has been changed to admin role and now refresh and try to access your admin dashboard perfect so you are able to access it done so guys you have just learned about how to use a middleware in laravel okay and here as you saw that uh, we were using auth so if you require you can add it else you can ignore it because we have done the auth validation inside this a uh, middleware admin middleware okay so yep guys and now if you want to use this middleware in different format like as you are using this auth so for that you can go to this bootstrap and app.php and here is your with middleware which is doing your aliases so you can just add that uh, is admin and use that so we can use as uh, aliases let's copy this middleware of aliaS function and just give an array and here you can add is admin and mention your middleware name so as we have already uh, available let's copy this paste here give comma and that's it and now let's import this middleware import the class and now you can copy this alias so is admin copy this and get back to your middleware and paste here in single quotes done guys so this is how this is admin and auth is going to be look similar so you can use in any of the way and let's remove it so now guys let us save and refresh here you will get the same result okay that's it done so first step let's move to our dashboard at this sidebar so we can create all the uh, fields what we require let's move let me close everything so we have a clear cut idea let's go to resource views and layouts inside partial we have admin inside this admin we have a sidebar okay so this is my dashboard and this is the layout let's remove all this unwanted codes and more clear so let's copy this layout from here and paste below so first step guys we are going to change this name as category and here you can mention category i mean create category and view category and then you have to change this bs dot target class name okay so which is very important here collapse layout so instead of layout add category so only three changes here done category and for next you can add the products or brands so let me add brands and 
let's copy this the same way and paste here and now guys change the target names which is going to be brand done and then you have to change the name here view brand and create brand and now let's change the href urls so just add url function in single quotes forward slash category hyphen create i mean you have to copy this complete and paste here which will be categories uh, i think we have to create a clean route so it's better we create categories category slash create and so on for the brands also let's change it let's add url function so brands brand slash create and copy it let's add for below also which brands okay so now let's get back refresh and here you see that is category and brands so let's work on this first category model so let's get back and here you see i have mentioned a few column fields for the category let's get started with creating the migration first so yep let me close this sidebar open your terminal create a migration file php artisan make colon migration create categories categories table okay hit enter so your category migration file is created and here you have to add your fields so let's add dollar table of string function and mention the what is that uuid one so uuid copy and paste for other fields like name slug description so okay uh, let me just take in the second screen and let me just see and type okay uid name then slug description so for this description we are going to use medium text done and then finally i mean next is status then popular view which is going to be the tiny integer part because we have to just check uh, true or false so for that you can add a boolean okay and again let's change this to string for image then meta underscore title for your seo purpose so this is fine and for the description you have to change to uh, medium text itself so here you mentioned meta description and finally our keyword keyword done so now guys uh, let's migrate it php artisan migrate and our table is migrated so you can see here in the laravel e-commerce we have a categories table okay perfect so now guys let's get started with the model php artisan make colon model category model hit enter so you reach to your model app models and your model name okay so first we are going to mention the table name dollar i mean protected dollar table equal to where categories your table name then protected dollar fillable where you have to fill all the fields so you can just copy from here let me just control d and give a comma here copy let's paste it 
so I pasted all the fields here and that's it so model part is done 